Hi everyone, Miss Home here. I'm here to talk to you this week about um, your my communication challenges for week six. Week six already. Um, and I've got a little special friend here with me today. Now, I know a lot of you loved to go and visit these little special friends at lunchtime. So I'm just going to hold her up for now. She's got a little piece of... Uh, here she is. Yeah. So at the moment, the guinea pigs are at home with me, being cared for by us, aren't you? And at the moment, she's sat here on the table with me. She's just got a bowl of... Um, I'll just scan down so you can see. There she is. Yeah, she's eating away with her cucumber. Oh, I'm not going to take it off you, don't worry. And she's got some spinach leaves and she's got some celery in here and some cucumber. Can you all see her? Yeah, so most of you will remember that she is called Maggie. Okay, now the other two are also here, Lisa and Marge. And I've just brought Maggie in today because... Um, into that our session because it's it's easier to handle one of them than than three of them running around so um this week in our lessons we have been looking at using descriptive language um some of the older students have been looking at advertising and um basically in informative writing where we use descriptive language descriptive words or phrases so this week's challenge I thought would be quite nice to link to guinea pigs and um, I thought it might be a, a nice task because um, I know how much a lot of you love love the guinea pigs. If you could create either a leaflet or um, a newspaper report, it could be a flyer to advertise your pet services. I don't mind. It can, I'll leave that completely up to you. But what I'd like you to do is tell us a little bit about, here she is, tell us a little bit about um, how you care for a guinea pig. Yeah, so it could include a picture of one or several pictures. You could try and draw Maggie. So I'm just holding her up so you can have another little look at her face. That's my finger, that's not celery. Okay, um, and in that leaflet or that news report or that little flyer, um, I thought it might be nice if you could mention the kind of home in which they need to live. What do they live in? Do they live outdoors? Do they live indoors? Um, how many, if they live in, in a little hutch, for example, um, what size should it be? How many floors should it have? How much room should they have? Bearing in mind, I've got three of them here. What would their bedding be like? What's suitable for a guinea pig to bed on? Um, is it hay? Is it straw? Is it wood shavings? What do they like to eat? Um, they will eat quite a lot of, of different fruits and vegetables, but there are certain ones that they can't eat. So it would be nice if you could do a little bit of research and say what's safe for them to eat and what's not. What do they like to drink? Is it just water? Do they like milk? I don't know, you tell me. Yep, she certainly loves celery. How much exercise should they have? You know, how often should they, or for how long should they be out stretching their legs, running around in a run? Um, and I thought what might be quite nice to finish on is any other interesting facts that you can find out about guinea pigs for me. Maybe their lifespan, you know, what's a good age for them to live till. Um, how often you should take them to the vets and what for. What should you comb their fur with, you know, a nice little comb or a soft brush. Do we use different brushes for different parts of the body? Anything like that. So this week's challenge... I'm going to just going to put Maggie back down for it now because she wants a bit more of her, her leaves. Um, so this week's challenge then is to create a nice informative leaflet or it could be a newspaper report, as I've said. It could be a flyer to advertise your looking after guinea pig service where you tell everybody exactly how you would look after 
after um, a guinea pig. And um, if you could get that written down and sent to me, either um, on an email or on your evidence for learning portal, that would be lovely. And I'd like to then share some of um, your ideas with everybody else. And I thought it might be quite nice when we go back to school if we could put some of them up um, as, a, as a display in the room that the guinea pigs live in at school. So have fun with that. Pictures, uh, lots of colour and lots of headings with all information underneath. And I don't mind how you put it out, you, how you put it out there to everybody. As I say, like a, a flyer, a leaflet, um, a newspaper report, all would be, would be lovely. But just communicate to everybody what's actually involved with looking after a guinea pig. Okay, so, so it's goodbye from me and goodbye from Maggie for now. And we'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.